Welcome back to the build. Let's get started on the divider wall, but first a reminder to make sure the power tools are plugged in. Okay, here's the wall in three parts. The outer wall that you see from the front, the sliding pocket door, and the inner wall. To ensure our walls were wide enough, we joined two pieces of plywood using dowel joints and wood glue. Then we took a circle guide jig to cut the archway for the door. I'm very excited about this. Then cut the rest of the opening using a circular saw. We used 3M90 adhesive to adhere carpeting to the outer wall. This will help give it a stock look from the outside. We primed and painted both the outer wall and the door, and then it was time to install. Just a reminder, this is a day's worth of work crammed into a couple of seconds, and what you don't see is the multiple trial and errors we went through. After this video was taken, we decided to use a different pocket door track on the top half of the door to help support the weight more evenly and straighten it out a bit. It's complex, but worth it. We have a wall in our van, and it really makes us feel like we live in a tiny home rather than a van.